Hi, my name is John with Gray Outdoor Provision Company here in Raleigh, North Carolina. Today we're going to be talking a little bit about winter backpacking and backpacking gear. Winter is a great time to get out, no bugs, no crowds, you just need to have a little bit of preparation ahead of time. Wintertime backpacking means heavier gear, more of it, and more bulk. So I usually go with a little bit bigger bag than I do with the summertime. This is a 65 liter bag, uh, lots of more carrying capacity, lots of more support. So you want to think about making sure you be able to get all your winter gear inside the bag. If you have stuff hanging all over it, it starts to snow, it starts to rain, you're, you're, you're at risk for getting your stuff wet, and that's no fun at all. Base layers. Um, I prefer to use a wool base layer myself. Uh, synthetics are great too. No cotton, no cotton, no cotton. Generally two layers is fine. Um, but make sure that you're going to change into some dry stuff and want to sleep in and not what you've worn all day. Hats and gloves, super important and really easy to forget. This is the warmest one ounce of warmth that you're going to have. And um, I usually carry a little, a little bit heavier one for nighttime sleeping. Gloves, I like to have a one heavier pair for the day and also a real light pair of liner gloves for more dexterity if I'm trying to work with stoves and that sort of thing. I like to keep cooking gear simple. In the winter time, I prefer to go with a liquid fuel stove. One pot is all you're gonna need. Put everything in one pot, boil it till it's soft, and get it down your gullet. And then that's all you're gonna wanna roll with because it, if it's freezing, you don't wanna have any kind of complex meal of preparation. For winter time camping, or for any camping, I always recommend a down bag. My down bag I've had for 17 years is still going strong and I love it to death. Um, for North Carolina, I generally recommend a 20 degree bag that's good for summertime, you can unzip it. Wintertime, zip it all the way up, wear some base layers, and you'll be good to go. The number one thing that's gonna help keep you warm in the wintertime, if you're back, wintertime backpacking, you have to stay hydrated. Your body's just not gonna function nearly as well if you're dehydrated. Drink water, drink plenty during the day. I would go at least three, four, five liters is not, is not too much. So make sure to stay hydrated, super important.